Well, I guess what, uh, I think the last time we talked to you was about sort of this sort of thing, um, just did some time off and having to recover. So what was, what did you feel like it's back in Detroit and what has this process been like to kind of come back again and be ready for playoff basketball? I mean, just being patient. Um, you know, we're looking for the long haul, not for something temporary. So uh, just making sure it's fully healed and get back to 100% and just try to take it one day at a time. Was not that any injury isn't frustrating, but considering when that happened, right before the start of the playoffs and then kind of having to work through it, did you have to kind of fight through some stuff mentally there to try to, to not think, I just got, got, got off the back or the neck and now this just happened right before the playoffs? For sure, um, just a freak freak of accident, but um, you get frustrated because you want to be there for your team, and this is the most important part of the season's playoffs, so that's what you work hard for all year to be ready for these moments and uh, to not be there, you know, round one with those guys and a couple games in round two, but um, thank God I'm, you know, healthy enough to get back out there with these guys and try to uh, do a good job in the series. Uh, was it a specific play? Like the down the middle strain happened, or like because I know that night it was like a down the middle strain, maybe backs or like tightness. Like there was just like a bunch of stuff. Like, no, it was it was just kind of like a play that happened, and it um, kind of strain ripped a little muscle in my oblique area that connects to the back also. So that's why it was pain in the front, but it was giving some back spasms because they're all connected. But it's fine. Was there ever a concern that it might be a longer term thing that you might not be able to come back to the postseason, or were you always pretty confident you'd be back? Confident I'll come back. Um, you know, I always have like little small things here and there, but nothing so far that's kept me out for a long, long periods of time besides probably one time in my career. Um, but um, that's how I've been my whole life, and, you know, I'm happy to recover and get back out there with the guys. If I remember yesterday correctly, I think your first possession, you get Tatum. Um, so just for you, kind of what is it like for Bud to have that trust? You haven't played in a while, but all right, first defense possession, here's their best score. I'm fine. Um, Bud knows I've been a defender my whole life. Um, I tip my head on trying to be a good defender. So um, no matter what it is, is, if I'm out there, like I tell them, I'm out there to, to give it all I got. And if that's guarding one of the best players in the league, that's so be it. Um, you know, it's a team game, and I know that I got good help on the backside. I don't know. I think, you know, we just made him take tough shots. Um, it's hard to slow a guy like that down, but uh, anytime you can like limit possessions and just make it tough for him on certain catches, getting him off his rhythm and things like that, uh, gives yourself a chance. Uh, I think, you know, game three, he let the game come to him. Um, there were sparks where he he knew he can get downhill and, and make plays for himself, but I think a lot of the time he was uh, letting other guys make plays for for him and uh, playing off other guys in the DHO and things like that. But um, we're going to continue to make him be who he is, and uh, other guys like ourselves just have to be ready to make plays when we can. Your first two plays, you take a charge, and then the second play, you set a screen, but Giannis gets to the basket. I just wonder, like, does having institutional memory, not just of playing, but of being, but playoff games allow you to just kind of come in and I'll figure out what I can do to be to be a contributor right right away. I mean, I'm, just, I'm going to be me um, throughout my whole career. That's who I've been. Um, try to perform well in the playoffs and be there and be a guy that the team can rely on. So um, I'm always a team first guy. Uh, if that's to me to take a charge and me to go set a screen, I'm going to do the best I can to, to get those guys open. But no, it's just, you know, making a basketball play. And like you said, if it's my job to screen, try to be the best screener I can possibly be. Uh, speaking of screening, what, what's going to be your goal when you're setting up? You know, I know there's a couple times where you went to set one and you didn't get a chance to, like, hit somebody, but it's still, like, maybe moved out or for a different way or, or triggered a switch or whatever it might be. Like, what's kind of your goal when you're setting a screen? Well, first, you, your goal is to crack the guy. <laughs> Um, you know, set a good screen. Secondly, is just make him, you know, take a different uh, path to get connected back to Giannis' body. So if I can make him go under me or over me, um, I feel like we won that possession. Uh, you mean Dova talked about their quarter approach uh, defensively from Milwaukee, from you guys. Uh, what can you guys do, or what did you do differently that led to that huge uh, third quarter for you guys? And how can you carry that over into game four? I don't know. You know, third quarter's kind of been our Achilles all year. 
Um, so thank God, you know, this game, it, it worked in our favor. Um, but it's a, it's a mindset thing. Um, I, I feel like uh, we can't go out there quarter focusing on the offensive end. Um, like I told the guys in the locker room, our, our best offense is our defense. Um, when we're locked in defensively and guys are playing together and flying around, helping each other, and we're all on the same page, um, offense, you know, orchestrates a lot easier for us. In that third quarter, I feel like Bobby made uh, four or five just incredible effort plays where it's end to end. Kind of, what have you seen from him that allows him to be able to do that? Just Bobby being Bobby. Um, he's our spark. That's why the city loves him. Um, he plays with a chip on his shoulder. Uh, he leaves it all on the floor night in, night out, no matter if he's scoring or trying to play defense. Um, you, you know what you're going to get out of him. So he's, he's been our spark all year long, and he's been our spark like last year, and we, we count him for that.